Dr. Mark Brehenna here from AskTheDentist.com. So uh, before we talked about my morning routine, uh, this video is going to be my before going to bed evening routine uh, as it pertains to oral health. So there's been a lot of damage done to the oral environment during the day. You know, I've maybe had some red wine a few hours ago, coffee during the day, some tea. So uh, I definitely want to brush. Um, and brushing first before flossing or vice versa, no big deal there. Don't, don't sweat that detail. Uh, but I do floss. Um, I'll use kind of a floss that has a high cohesive uh, a texture to it so that I'm actually scraping the teeth gently. Um, so I'll floss, then I'll brush. I, I will use a sonic type toothbrush before I go to bed just because there's a lot to do um, and you know I'm getting tired and I want it to be done quickly and efficiently so I'll use that. I will scrape my tongue with a tongue scraper before I go to bed again because there's a lot of food that settles out on your tongue and uh, it's good to get that out of there before uh, you go to sleep because at night when you go to sleep things are going to dry out so why let it all cake onto your tongue that goes for the teeth and gums as well. Essentially, you want your teeth and your mouth to be as clean as possible uh, so that when the dryness does come, again, when we go into deep sleep, salivation drops to almost zero, um, then you don't want anything there that could cause damage or demineralization, uh, cavity kind of causing uh, type of uh, phenomena to the teeth. So, so that's important. And then my last thing is, of course, I put in my oral appliance. Uh, this prevents me from snoring and allows me to sleep better without interruption. Um, and then I seal that off with uh, mouth tape. Um, currently I'm using Somnifix just because it's very gentle. It's easy to use. You can reuse it as well. Um, and it has a little vent in the middle just for those people that are a little concerned that their mouth is taped shut. But what it does is it provide, it prevents you from making things worse at night by keeping those lips shut. So, um, so you're breathing through your nose, which humidifies everything and doesn't dry out the mouth. And then the last thing I do, and this is not as I walk to the bed, but as I go to bed, is I put on my eye mask um, uh, just so that there's no ambient light. And that actually helps me go into a very deep, restful sleep. So you probably think I'm not a good dentist because I forgot the most important thing. The best time to use toothpaste during the day is right before you go to bed because your mouth's going to be dry and you want those ingredients in there to help remineralization of teeth. So I use this toothpaste because of the nanohydroxyapatite compound in it, which I think is better than fluoride and also safer. But here's, here's the, here's the take home message. The important thing to remember is I do not rinse afterwards. I let it stick to my teeth. I may spit out, but I do not rinse with water because when I put in my oral appliance, I cover those areas and keep that very healthy beneficial compound up against the teeth and that helps the teeth uh, throughout the night. So, and then one last thing real quickly is if I'm not able to breathe through my nose due to allergies or maybe a cold, uh, this spraying just one spray into each nostril before I mouth tape uh, helps me get to the mouth taping, being able to mouth tape. So uh, this is important as well, but not needed every night. So that's my evening routine. Um, if you have any comments or questions about it, I'm happy to look at them and answer them. And i um, glad you were here to uh, hear what I had to say about bedtime routine. I'd love to actually know what your bedtime routine is too. So anyway, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.